What would you guys guess is the number one question I get when I'm starting to have the biologics discussion? Will I need to be on this forever? And that's exactly what my patient this week, Jim, asked. Of course, Jim is not his real name. So I've been seeing Jim for a little over a year. He's got rheumatoid arthritis, and we have been trying to squeeze as much juice from his leflunamide and sulfasalicine as we can. But he has just been having too many flares and needing too much prednisone. And we have both been disappointed that we haven't been able to get better control of his rheumatoid arthritis. So it's time for us to think about next level of treatment, and that is with biologic. Jim is generally on board. But when he asked this question, I, of course, could sense that there's still a very big part of him that wishes he wasn't having to do any of this. I've had this conversation enough times to know that it's not about whether or not someone will need to be on this medication forever, but whether they will need to be on any medication forever. Is RA truly a lifelong, I'm gonna have this thing forever kind of thing? And I'm gonna tell you what I told Jim and what I tell any other patient who asks me this. Honestly, I don't know. Forever is a long time and who knows what the research in the future will find. What I do know is that most people with conditions like rheumatoid arthritis will need some sort of medication for the majority of their life. But notice the leeway I give myself in that statement. Most people, majority of their life. In medicine and in rheumatology, I've learned to never say never, but to not necessarily make decisions based on the hope that someone will be in the minority. So getting back to Jim and the matter at hand, how can Jim and you approach this thing practically? Well, as soon as you start having the biologic talk with your doctor, ask about coming off of it. We now have research that shows that some individuals, when they've responded well to a biologic, can either come off of it completely or at least lower the dose. This is usually done after someone has been on something and doing well for a while, but talking about it in the beginning can help you and your doc get on the same page and help you see that this is just a tool to control your inflammation and not some sort of life sentence. When looked at that way, Jim felt much more comfortable. Of course, he understood that there are never any guarantees and that we would have to keep this conversation going. But knowing he wasn't making a decision he'd have to stick with forever helped him wrap his head around it. Remember, nothing is set in stone. Health decisions when you have an autoimmune condition can be changed and ultimately, you get to make the call. Have a great day.